Pete the Cat, Sir Pete the Brave. Meet Sir Pete. He is the bravest and coolest knight in all the cat kingdom. He wears a suit of armor and a helmet. He even carries a sword. All day long, Sir Pete does a lot of king knightly things. He rides a horse and climbs towers. At dinner, Sir Pete listens to Lady Callie play the harp. Lady Callie is awesome. Bravo, Sir Pete, yells at the end of each song. He claps louder than anyone. One night, while Lady Callie plays beautifully, someone casts a spell and everything. everyone falls asleep, even Sir Pete. When everyone wakes up, Lady Callie is gone. Oh no, Sir Pete the Brave. I know what to do. I will find Lady Callie and save her. So off Sir Pete goes to save Lady Callie. Yikes, Sir Pete falls into a giant hole. Who could have made such a huge hole? The hole is a dragon's footprint. Follow the footprint, Sir Pete says to his horse. The dragon must have taken Lady Callie. The footprints stop. Where did the dragon go? Sir Pete looks up. And sees the dragon flying across the lake with Lady Callie in her and her harp. Sir Pete can't fly. How will he get across the lake? He gets an idea. He can row across the lake. Across the lake he goes. Sir Pete gets to the other side of the lake. He spots a dragon cave. The dragon and Lady Callie must be inside the cave. He has to go inside, but it is very dark. Then he hears music. He must have Lady Callie. He won't be scared. He is Sir Pete the Brave. He follows the music, but it suddenly stops. He finds the harp. But no, Lady Callie, where could she be? Sir Pete will not give up. He sees a hill and decides to climb it. From there, he can probably see Lady Callie. At the top of the hill, he looks around for his friend. When he hears a loud growl, Sir Pete is scared. The hill suddenly started to move. What's happening? Oh no, this is not a hill. Sir Pete is on the dragon's back. He did not find Lady Callie, but he found the dragon. Sir Pete knows what to do. He slides down, down, down the dragon's back as quickly as possible. Hopefully the dragon does not eat Sir Pete. The dragon feels something tickling on his back and sees Pete. The dragon lets out a mighty roar. Sir Pete is in trouble. Then out of nowhere, he hears a familiar sound. Sir Pete says, Lady Callie, I will save you. Save me, says Sir Pete. But I came to save you. Sir Pete and Lady Callie start to argue about who is saving who. They stopped fighting, though, when it started to rain. But wait, there are no rain clouds inside a cave. Sir Pete and Lady Callie look up to see the, the dragon crying. What's wrong? asked Lady Callie. I just want us to sing along, the dragon sobs. But people get scared when they see me because I am so huge and have sharp teeth. I did not want to scare anybody. Sir Pete and Lady Callie feel bad for making the dragon sad. I have an idea, said Sir Pete. Will you give us a ride? The dragon flies Sir Pete and Lady Callie home. Everyone is happy to see them. At first, they are scared of the dragon. He's our friend, said Lady Callie. Everyone is no longer scared of the dragon. You don't need to need a great voice to make music, said Sir Pete. Just good friends. The dragon smiles. He can finally sing along. The dragon joins the song. Three cheers for Lady Callie and Sir Pete the Brave. <laughs>